I always see on my timeline this disgusting fat rapper by the name of Finesse Two Times. And I first came across Finesse Two Times about a year ago when he was promoting him having three obese black women as his girlfriends. And I remember being mortified seeing this image because I think to myself, well, I deal with fat women all the time and I know the smell. I know the potential smells that could come out of these fat women. And I know this is a problem because there's three fat black women and there's a fat black guy. There's going to be a problem when it comes down to sex because of the odors. Bad smells are going to come. It's inevitable. And then you can't forget these are fat women with BBLs. We know that BBLs on their own produce horrible smells because it's impossible. It's literally impossible to get all the creases and crevices in these women's asses. It's too much ass. Again, you're talking to me, a guy that's dealt with fat women his entire life. I hose these women down in the shower before sex because I know the dangers. I know the smells. I've been there before. But that's besides the point. Because a lot of guys make the mistake of thinking to themselves, well, I have a lot of money now. I'm successful. That's all that matters. Women are going to come and they're going to stick around. Boy, are you wrong. The fat rapper Finesse two times learned that the hard way. You see, one of his fat girlfriends he was parading around, his baby mama, or at least that's what he thought, was going out there and getting long shafted by another black man. And not only just that, she had Finesse two times raising another man's baby. Whole time Finesse two times thought that was his baby. So you see what we're talking about here. Finesse Two Times is a successful rapper, makes a lot of money, a lot of diamonds, a lot of cars, big houses. Spoils these women rotten. But I need you to understand none of that stuff matters because Finesse Two Times is fat and he's also ugly. You look at his physique, you can only imagine the type of diet this guy has. He was on live yesterday, sipping lean, drinking alcohol. Looking all sorts of fat dark circles under his eyes. So I want you to imagine, just imagine the smell that's produced from this man's penis. But let's go even deeper. You know, because you look at his physique, you could only imagine he has a horrible diet. He's sipping lean, drinking alcohol, going to sleep at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Wakes up at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, smokes a blunt, scratches his ass, farts, rips a long fart. Takes him and his three fat wives to Popeye's to eat a whole bunch of fried chicken. And then he drives back home, farting the entire way, by the way. Farting the entire way. His kidneys are overworked. His liver is screaming for help. Bro, chill already, please. Has horrible cardiovascular health. Because yesterday alive, he was huffing and puffing, losing his breath. Just talking, standing there. So you can only imagine bad diet, bad health, no exercise. Eats fried chicken all the time. Sleeps at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Sipping lean and smoking bloods and scratching and farting all day. You could only imagine at 32 years old, Finesse two times suffers from erectile dysfunction. So then you have three fat women laying around. You can't satisfy one of them, much less three of them. So of course, he's going to go back and get long shafted by a black guy who's most likely poor. But he looks better than you. He's more sexually appealing and he can actually dig down. Folks, this is unbelievable stuff we're talking about here. Heavy money cars, iced out rollies, Cartier glasses, and matches only matters if you actually look good without your clothes on. Why, you may ask? Well, you're a guy with money who's fat and ugly, but you do a lot of nice things for your fat girlfriend with a BBL, and you buy her a stupid dog for Christmas or something, and, you know, she takes you to the park, walking around her stupid little dog that you bought her. But while at the park, she notices there's a black guy who's working out, no shirt on, He's doing pull-ups and push-ups and his muscles are all bulging and he's all greasy like Apollo Creed. And he's doing reps upon reps and all that sweat is beating down his midsection down to his crotch. And it's really accentuating his big massive long rope of a c And your fat girlfriend with a BBL can't help but be aroused by this. By the way, this is a guy who's wearing a pair of Joe Boxers. This guy's poor. This guy, this guy makes no money. His whole life was all about working out and looking good and being greasy. Looking like Apollo Creed. Her vagina starts pulsating at the idea of being carried around by this greasy, juicy looking black man. So where does that put you, Finesse Two Times, a fat black rapper? Yes, you have a lot of money, but you have erectile dysfunction. You're fat as can be. I mean, you look like a tub of lard. You're walking around all day eating fried chicken, smoking blunts, fart, ripping farts all over the household, all over the car. And on top of that, your urine smells like sulfur. From all the lean, all the alcohol, and all the grape drank. Yeah, because God forbid these people drink a bottle of water. They don't ever happen. And so now these are the results. You're getting played by this girl, by this fat BBL having a woman. And you were tricked into raising another man's child. You see, this is what happens when you're fat and ugly.
Misfortune comes for those that are fat and ugly. You ever hear a black woman say, God don't like ugly, honey. Be careful. God don't like ugly. Mm -mm. They're right. Black women are right when they say God don't like ugly, honey. Because they know you're ugly and fat as shit. Misfortune is coming for you. And this goes for all you fat and ugly people out there as well. You don't want to make your life better. You don't want to realize that appearances are everything for a man. More important than money, more important than success, more important than everything. You got to look good. You got to have these hoes creaming. You got to be the loser at the park who's homeless, working out, doing pull-ups and push-ups all day. Goes to Walmart and steals protein powder. And then you can focus on having a career, you know, making all the money, having a nice car, and all these other things. How many people are rich and successful and they're depressed and they jump off a bridge? How many guys you know are rich and successful, millions of dollars, and their wife is getting their back blown out by their tennis instructor? You know, when I talk about guys that are fat, ugly, and poor, I literally mean you got to be the complete opposite of all three. You can't be fat, you can't be ugly, and you can't be poor. You got to be ripped, you got to be in shape, you got to be handsome, well-groomed, smelling good, and you got to be getting some type of money. You do all three, you're literally impossible. You're 1.1% of the population. And then all of a sudden you notice, well, wait a minute. Why am I so fortunate? Why do I keep winning in life? Why am I never sad? Why am I always happy? You think a fat, disgusting, ass-smelling rapper like Finesse Sutans is happy? Look at him. Look at the condition of this guy. Just based off the diet alone, I know for a fact this guy isn't happy. Just off the fact that he's sipping lean all day on live. He can't resist. He's a drug addict. I know for a fact he's not happy. You got all that money. You have the cars. You have the house. What's it all for? I mean, there's a guy like Finesse Sutans who's an idiot. I mean, the guy's an idiot. Let's be real here. Does he ever stop to think, what's it all for? All this stuff, all this money, all this stuff, what's it all for? You think he cries on it while he's driving down his Rolls Royce, farting in the Rolls Royce in the Wraith? Imagine that. Multi-millionaire farting in a Wraith. Greasy fingers, he just finished eating Popeyes. Crying at the thought that his fat girlfriend, the woman he loves, is having sex with another guy, another man. Another man is long stroking her while she scratches his back and she moans to the top of her lungs. And there you are, finesse two times, big rapper, lots of money, a lot of cars, with your stupid chain and your stupid iced out grill, driving around a race with greasy fingers after eating Popeyes. And your kidneys hurt from all the lead and alcohol and you're farting up a storm. And to top it all off, you have erectile dysfunction. And you're fat and ugly. So again, I'm going to ask, what's it all for? What's it all? Isn't it exhausting? What's it all for? You that's listening right now, pay close attention. Don't be the fat guy driving around a BMW M4 thinking you're hot shit. Don't be the fat guy dripped in designer. That clothes wasn't meant for fat f- like you, you're working in reverse. You have to build a foundation first. You got to be the guy that's sexually appealing first, and then you add the cherries on top, the M4, the designer clothes, the fake Moncleasy, the Cartier glasses. These are just cherries on top. Finesse two times learned that the hard way. He became a successful rapper, worked his ass off, made a lot of millions, bought a lot of cards, ice saw rollies, all these things. Didn't build a proper foundation. Look at him now. Publicly humiliated in front of millions of black people. This is big news in the black community. I woke up this morning, two black people are talking about this. Finesse two times getting play. Finesse two times getting play. This is a big deal. Think about how much aura points Finesse two times lost yesterday alone. <sighs> Folks, go to my Patreon and purchase my book, Fat, Ugly, and Poor. It's made for people like Finesse two times who are fat, ugly, and poor. Yes, Finesse two times he may have all the money, but he's spiritually poor. Look at him. Fat and ugly and erectile dysfunction, he's poor. In my book, he's poor. So go to my Patreon, give me $5 and get my audiobook, Fat, Ugly, and Poor.